Okay, that was weird. <laughs> hey, everyone. See, this is why Ooh. I signed up with Constellation. This moment right here. Of course, this is Barrett's first time in a temple, isn't it? Ah. Huh. Uh, welcome back to Starfield. So, yeah, we've headed over to Temple Tau. Oh, that was close. I nearly broke both my ankles. Uh, to scoop up this power, and then I really want to go and take uh, take Barrett over to one of these places to to see if we can actually unlock something for him. I, I, I feel kind of uh, almost excited for the guy. Experience his first power. I hope it doesn't uh, fall flat on its face and turn out to be a bit of a non-starter, but we'll see. Uh, ooh, what's that light through there? Interesting. Right. Everybody ready? Where's Vasco? He's not going to drop on my head, is he? Ah, oh, Vasco can catch up. Right. Keep your eyes open, Barrett. This is a little bit of a, uh, a dress rehearsal for yours, I think. Oh. Interesting. Retrieve waiting followers. Oh, it looks like Vasco didn't make it in through the door. That's fine. Alright, what lies in wait for us here? a professional. Um, <laughs> a touring fan wants in on the action. Ooh, that's got a splash of colour. Right, here we go. This is the interesting part. Are we going to be accosted by another Starborn? I've got sense star stuff. What have we got? Reactive shield. Ah, there is another guardian. Interesting. Ooh, right, let's have a look. Reactive shield. Form a shield of pure cosmic light that can weaken and even reflect enemy projectiles. Yes, please. All right, sit down, guardian. Oh, bye then. <laughs> Hello down there. That's for you. You can keep that. Oh, hello. Apparently I'm coming down as well. Whoa! What have you got? That's nasty. <laughs> right, you keep him distracted. Oh, no. That's my friend. Whoa. She's tough. They seem to be getting harder as we go. Nice. Oh. I did think for a moment there that I'd heard another uh, guardian voice, but no, I think we're uh, I think we're all good. Right. How was that for you, Barrett? Talk to me, my dear friend. <laughs> I think we need to go and get yours now, don't we? You've had a little bit of a dress rehearsal. Right, Vasco. When we get back to the ship, Hello. I th think I might leave you there. Uh, ooh. Right, interesting. We've got a conversation option. So, uh, do you think this Unity stuff's true? Gateways to parallel universes and all that? There could be an infinite number of other Vascos out there. I mean, uh, aside from the other ones that came off the production line. Human understanding of physics has, until now, shown no indication that such a thing is possible. And yet, we have now encountered two individuals physiologically identical to unique humans we already know, possessing knowledge and technology that it seems improbable for them to otherwise have. Mm. It is indeed possible that they are telling the truth, that this unity does exist. More data is required. Very analytical, but absolutely bang on the money, as always, Vasco. We need the rest of the artifacts then. Um, oh, there could never be another Vasco, Vasco. Practically speaking, it is entirely possible to duplicate my memory banks and replicate my functionality in another Model A unit. I would recommend speaking to Mr. Stroud about the costs <laughs> of such a venture. Amazing. And that's what makes you unique. <laughs> okay. Right, uh, where did I park the ship? I'm going to head back uh, to the vessel. Uh, not that way, apparently. I'm going to head back in the right direction to the vessel. And, uh, yeah, then we're going to head off to 
see if we can't get Barrett a, uh, a little special superpower. He's been dying to try on that cape. <laughs> That's good on the herd again. <laughs> Look at him there, bless. Must be getting a hell of a view. Okay, we are on Turner 8B in the Alpha Turner system, I think it is. And this apparently is where Barrett's very own temple resides. Uh, where's he gone? Where's the metal man? Where you gone, metal man? Okay, you must have climbed down. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, nice I, day, huh? It is indeed, Amari. Uh, watch the bridge for me, would you please? Right, I'd like to track down our most adoringest of fans. Oh, there he is. <laughs> He's keeping the weird science stowaways company. Uh, right, I, I'd I like you to uh, shush. I'd like you to stay on board. I to keep your ship, I don't have anything at all times. Good, Good for you. Idea. I will just be here pondering your magnificence until your return. Right, here's how you can make yourself useful. Um, you great. could uh, you could Dish. delegate that cleaning to these two stowaway interlopers who uh, who seem to have taken up residence aboard. And they're cluttering the place up otherwise. Right, let's get out there. Um, hmm. Now, I seem to have a little bit of trouble dismissing companions once I'm on the exterior of the ship. So I don't know whether I'm actually going to get be able to get Vasco to... Uh, Stay where he is. Ooh, hello. Extreme cold. All right, I'll keep an eye on that. Ah, there's the... D Whoa! <laughs> That's a cool view. Oh, I like that. Let's go. There you are. Um, would you mind staying put? Captain Asher, it is pleasant to see you. Uh, yeah, just tell you what, just wait here. I will not move until ordered to. Marvellous. Okay, I don't think that's exactly uh, dismissing him as I would prefer, but this is uh, this is something that myself and Barrett need to take care of uh, by ourselves, I feel. Ooh, watch the crystalline structures. Hmm. Help Barrett acquire his power. Oh, yeah, I... I'm... In a way, I'm kind of honoured to be here at this moment as uh, as Barrett, hopefully, before things turn out well, gains his first special ability. Um, yeah, it's just a shame that it couldn't have been Irving here to, to share the moment with him. But oh well. Temple Sigma. Barrett's gift. What's it going to be? I'm, I'm, I'm kind of... I, I hope I'm not going to get jealous, because <laughs> if it turns out that... Oh, hello. Oh, I've got absolutely no gravity here. Blimey, what have we got? 0 0.31 gravity. Yeah. Uh, okay. Is this, is there a, this is a double slot thing, but is there actually a door here? Uh, oh, <laughs> I was looking down the wrong side. What a fool. This way, Barrett. I know the way. Follow me. Uh, Barrett? Ah, I'm sure he'll meet me inside. In fact, no, I want to I want to brief the guy first. <laughs> I want to tell him all about this incredibly complex and uh, mentally challenging puzzle that will lay before him, where you've just got to go through some spinny balls of light things. Uh, I hope he's prepared to be underwhelmed. Here you are. This way, Big B. Right, just look for the spinny light stuff, go through the spinny light stuff, and become Superman. Here he goes. Oh, this is it. It is indeed, this is yours. Look at this place. Unbelievable. I'll follow your lead. Clearly, you know what to do around here. Ah, now, this is the interesting one. If I'm the one that goes through the spinny light points, does that in any way tie the power to me? Or is it just who goes through the rings at the end? No matter what, these temples are always impressive to me. Oh, here goes. My 
taking point? Yeah, looks like I am. Oh, good. I get to do another one of these. This is your cue. You're supposed to fly through now. Um. Or yours. <laughs> Wait, uh, what's, what's happening? Help Barrett acquire his power. I'm trying. He doesn't seem too keen to actually go through. Right, do I have to... <laughs> do I have to trick him to fly through it or something? Come on. Come on. Oh, Barrett! Really? Do I wait? Do I need to go in there? Or maybe, maybe the conversation triggers when I get close to it. Uh, I, I don't, I don't feel this is going quite the way it should. I'm going to drop a quick save in case I end up taking it inadvertently. Barrett, come on! What? Wait, what? I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm so confused. That where's we're somewhere between alien and human. Hello, universe. A peculiar mixture Whoa. of extraordinary and practical. Turning your call. What in the Who in the Whoa. Whoa. Hello, handsome. Ah. <laughs> uh, okay. I don't get why I went through the ring, but it seems as though Barrett has acquired a power to make a copy of himself? Hello there. I'm Barrett. You sure? He's Barrett. I'm Barrett. Other than that mind bending fact, there's really not that much to it. Not your Barrett. Sorry. No, apparently not. Wait, this isn't... This isn't summoning a Barrett from an another one of those universes, is it? You've got to be joking. Nope. Okay. Skipping the initial shock of it all. <laughs> Agreed. Not worth it. Forming a hypothesis. Hmm. Okay. Uh... So who's the evil one? You know, my captain asked the same thing. Oh. Different captain, though. So you aren't an exact facsimile. From my readings, you don't have your appendix, and you're a quarter of a centimeter taller than me. <gasps> Minor differences, but fascinating. I wonder what else is different. Wait, this is a so this is a barrel from another universe. <laughs> did did you? You're not a clone. That doesn't make sense. Cloning is a complicated procedure involving a lot of complex science. This was... Um... <laughs> a whole lot weirder. That's one way to put it. Okay, so... I, mean, I, know which, I know the one on the left with the seemingly slightly lighter spacesuit is my Barrett. Me. Accurate. I'm just uh, passing through. <laughs> okay, what's going on? Molecular binary schism? Temporal twinning? Group hallucination? Don't forget the fluctuations in the energy patterns which align almost deterministically. Harmonize vibrations distorting some mechanical barrier between neighboring universes? Impossible to know with such a minute subset of readings. We need more data. Obviously. <laughs> okay. Uh, right. So what do we call you, other Barrett? I'll be Barrett Prime. <laughs> Amundsen is fine. Usually the barrier between us is too thick to communicate much anyway. Amundsen? Now I know you're not me. Hey, <laughs> one of us has to keep it classy. Wait. Is that Barrett's first name? Amundsen? Is that a name? 
Okay, um, so what do we do from here? <laughs> Why stop at two? It won't work. The energy required increases exponentially per anomaly. I'm already exhausted. In a way that's hard to describe. N not physically or mentally, but something else. Sorry, friend. You'll feel right as rain when I dissipate. How long does that take? Uh, welcome aboard, Amundsen. Whoa there. Sustaining this connection requires a lot of concentration. Is this permanent? You will eventually monitor the energy fluctuations and agree. But no, this is unusual. I could study this forever. Irvin told me to just enjoy it and collect data on the side <gasps> for later. And I'm glad I did. He's still alive? Irvin? He's with you. He's... okay? By the tone of your voice, I'm gathering some things in our lives might be a bit different. Is he... is he happy? Yes, he is. Our daughter pilots the ship after Vasco <gasps> was destroyed. Aww. But otherwise, we've survived the war well. War? Okay, hold up. <laughs> right, okay. They, so they have a daughter. Vasco's been blown up. Um. Right, okay, so. Uh, first of all, Vasco? Oh, man. I only hope the new one we're building is just as salty as the last one. Well, he did just drop on us that we could just back up his um, his data files and transfer them in, into another Model A. So I mean, it's not the end of the world, I guess. Uh, right, let's start with the big one, the war. Going on 20 years now. Shit. But we're starting to turn the tide. Imagine all of the variations. It's endless. But who's the war between? Between. I, I, I need details. So I'm guessing this Barrett that's come through from Parallel Universe had already acquired this power that our Barrett has just picked up because he seems completely unfazed by it. I guess he's used to casting another Barrett from another universe to be by his side. So this has just happened to have... He, he's, on the, uh, he's on the transmitting side this time. You adopted a daughter. Amazing. Sounds like you don't have a daughter here, I take it. No, we talked about it, but no. We named her after Aja, my mentor. Oh. She died in the crossfire between the United Colonies and the Free Star Collective decades ago. Oh. For me, Irvin died instead of Aja in that crossfire. She's best friends with Cora, and she's smart as hell. Mm. <laughs> of course she is. Nice. And Irvin's alive and well. It's been so long. The horror of the infinite is the inclusion of the unimaginable. I promise. He's happy. We're happy. Wow. Um, yeah, you come from a universe that diverged a long while ago. I have so many questions. I wonder how many paths I've taken we've taken how many variations how many ended with heartache and how many with joy i think about that all the time wait what's that noise oh starborn ship oh wonderful okay uh what happens if you die yeah what happens if you die here what happens for any of us i don't think it works that way though maybe i'm just a construct or a memory I don't know, but I don't feel pain. Okay. Good to know. This isn't the first time he's gone through then. Um, right, let's pick this up later. No idea. This isn't how the power works for me. I've never had a conversation with myself before. You pretty much know everything I do now anyway. More than I ever hoped for. Okay. If, those, if that's Starborn, they're going to be closing in quick. We can handle this. On it. I kind of wish I brought the uh, the others with me this time now. Never mind. Well, hello. Right, let's get... Oh, poo. Ooh. This one's pretty weak. Oh, 
That one was very weak. Interesting. This is what exploration is all about. Oh, there was only one? Hmm. I still really want to get to the bottom of what happens when they vanish like that. And their ships. I'm glad I could be of some help. Yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for lending a hand. How long are you around for? <laughs> Can you make it back to the ship? Uh, something happened. Uh, I can't hold on to you. I'm struggling. Uh. Pull through the barrier. This is probably it, friend. Well, pleasure to meet Comment you for this friend. short period. Cherish every moment with them. I already do, my friend. I promise. Whoa. <laughs> Barrett, that's cool. Now, I'm guessing... I'm guessing he's not in any fit state to actually try that again anytime soon, but I'm guessing if he does it again in the future, it'll bring through a different Barrett, uh, Barrett from a different universe? So look, for the record, I am the same Barrett that came here with you. <laughs> for sure. I think. Don't worry, I don't doubt that. Um, sounds like something an evil Barrett would say to me. Is the ship my secret lair then? I guess. Hmm. I would have preferred something with more seating. And maybe a fireplace. Something cozy. Oh well. Hey, at least I didn't pull an army of knees out of thin air, right? <laughs> Imagine that. That could be pretty handy. Doesn't seem to be possible. Um Yeah, did you try that? Uh kinda. I mean, here's the thing. It's pretty exhausting in a way that's hard to describe. A second one of me seems, well, frankly, it seems like it would kill me. Mm. But yes, I tried, briefly. Then I stopped when I realized how impossible it would be. Makes me tired just thinking about it. Hmm, okay. Um, yeah, it doesn't seem like it's possible to bring through multiple then. True. How would I stand out in a crowd made entirely of myself anyway? <laughs> anyway, it's a relief, you know. I have this ability, this power, and I'm still just me, just regular Barrett, and they already feel like it's subsiding. I no longer feel like I'm in a huge crowd. Oh, interesting. So it's almost like a feel of being, feeling of being swamped, of of being claustrophobic, I guess. So you can, do you still feel like you could use it again in the future? Yes, though it takes a lot of concentration. If I do it a lot, I bet I'd give myself a headache from myself. Hmm. <laughs> I'm my own migraine. <laughs> yeah, it seems, uh, seems pretty useful. I thought so, too. Other me, other Barrett, seemed like he was able to handle himself well in that fight. Anyway, we'll see. If the other me gets in the way, I can just release him or stop using the power entirely. For now, I just need to use this power a bit and digest what all has happened. Hmm. Uh, I wonder if we can ask him to use this power in combat, then. Barrett, I've got a funny feeling you're going to be my uh, my go-to partner for a little while, my friend. Um, okay, so... Yeah, finding out that news about another Irvin being alive in a parallel universe. I suppose it was inevitable in a way, but... So have that information firsthand? I lost my Irvin. I know that. I wish beyond anything that he appeared in that temple instead of me. But it helps to know there's an Irvin out there somewhere living a life full of love with someone like me. I can move forward with that thought in my heart. That's very level-headed of you, Barrett. I like that. Kind of... It's kind of a similar situation with Asher and Andresia, I guess. Huh. Uh, so, yeah, this new power. Sure, but give me some time. I want to use it a bit more. See what its limits are. I just need some time with it. That's fair. Um, use your power whenever you feel like. That's pretty exhausting, really. So I might only do it when I feel like we could use backup. For now, anyway. Nice. Oh, okay, let's get back to the ship. Uh, right, I need, I think we need a new, uh, a new focus. 
Just come back aboard the ship, and Vasco, just for a change, is in the ship instead of on the ship. Welcome aboard. Captain Asher, do you require my assistance? No, thank you very much for your help. I think you can return to your post for now, sir. It was a pleasure <laughs> to assist you, Captain. Really had to analyse his response then, didn't he? Okay, we need to get off this uh, freezy frozen rock. Um, it's a very, it's a freezy frozen rock with an extraordinarily cool view. Uh, but let's see what's waiting out there in the cosmos for us. So we've got a number of constellation missions here. I mean, Mist Beyond Measure. That's uh, that's Noel arranging the. Remembrance service for Andresia. So that's going to take a few days. But what have we got? Final glimpses. Vladimir has given me locations he believes could hold artifacts. So we need to get a ship with at least a 21 light year grav jump range. Now, I do have that horrible old bucket of bolts that I liberated from. Was it a Crimson Fleet ship? It's bloody horrible, whatever it was. I don't fancy jumping to an area where there's likely to be a number of potentially aggressive starborn ships waiting for us in that old rust bucket. What I'd really like to do is work my way up to actually piloting the uh, the Kepler R, because that thing looks like an absolute animal and has the jump range that we need. So, Freya 3. Let's actually see where these are. Freya 3 is... Yeah, that's way out in the sticks, isn't it? That's way up towards the northern... Well, north, not actually applying in space, but uh, it's, it's very up on the map. And then Aradana 7A... Oh, oh yeah, that's that's way off to the bottom left. Okay, have we been here? Cap Captain Star. I'm not sure if we've actually been there. It's not that far from Alpha Centauri when you look at it, but uh, yeah, big old jump range needed to get there. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to leave that particular objective for a moment. But what have we got here? Unearth. The emissary has given me a key to the base on Luna, Earth's moon, saying I'll learn more about the artifacts if I investigate. I do want to go there, but I'm kind of a little bit nervous at the moment to progress the main quest very much more. Power from beyond Oberum 1. There's a large anomaly on a planet that matches the signature of one of the artifacts. Acquire the power on Oberum 1. Um, okay, so this must be this must be another... Wait, no, hold on. We're all caught up on temples, aren't we? How many more... How many more... Um, artifacts do we have to get? Let's see. I think it says on the powers screen. Three undiscovered temples are out there somewhere, according to that little prompt on the left. Wait, hold on. Parallel self. From across the vast multiverse, a friendly version of yourself arrives, armed and ready to lend... Wait, we've got the power? I thought Barrett had the power. So confused. Or did... What? <laughs> Did Was it that Barra entered that temple at the same time as us? I'm so confused. Who actually picked up that power? Okay, we're going to have to try that out at some point. Uh, but for now, I'm going to leave... I think I'm going to leave everything Constellation flavoured just for a bit. Um, so we've got some jobs down on New Atlantis. Uh, I still need to report back to Toft to uh, hand... Uh, and in some evidence on the UC Vigilance. That's been a while, hasn't it? Some bits and bobs on Cydonia. Um, right. Okay, I'll take a look through and see what... Uh, oh. Hmm. I have always said that I wanted to go and check out Ryogen Industries on Neon. Want to challenge your instincts and hone those corporate skills? Ryujin is hiring the best and brightest of today for our future tomorrow. Submit your application now at the nearest kiosk. Well, funny you should make... Excuse me, out of the way. Sorry, can't talk. Um, <laughs> would you mind, um, like, not being here? I, I, I kind of want to use this terminal. Are you working toward that next yes, I'm, technological I'm, leap? I'm trying to... Excuse me. Industry... <laughs> I think I've shoved him out of the way. Okay. Yeah, I said a while, but I, I think the first time I actually visited New Atlantis, I wanted to pass one of these recruitment... Uh, kiosks and uh, yeah it did kind of pique my interest and seeing as I'm um, <laughs> trying not to face the inevitable fact that I, I may have to give up everything and 
and leave everything I've ever known behind. Um, I'd like to maybe just take a, a, a nice, stable job for a while. So, uh, I think we looked through the subsidiaries and about us screens uh, before. Yeah, history, neurons. Let's just do this skim read to just have a bit of a quick refresher. So, um, mission statement to deliver the best quality life improving technology today before you need it tomorrow. Hmm, nice thinking ahead. Raijin Industries has been a leader in technology since its creation. We strive towards advancement, always room for improvement, fulfilling customer desire is our number one goal. History. Let's see. Founded by Raid Karis and Itaru Saito in 2307, Takaris had a dream of applying her vast knowledge as a biotech engineer to the improvement of everyday life. Yeah, hold on. It's quite a, quite a young company, actually, isn't it? It's only been going 23 years. It seems to be known throughout the settled systems, so they've done pretty well for themselves. Um, when she met the business-minded Itaro Saito, it wasn't long until Ryogen Industries was formed. The first product was based on Dakara's neurological research, major breakthrough in technology, the NeuroAmp. They propel Ryogen to the top of the tech industry and solidify their position as a major contender. It wasn't long before Ryogen Industries began to look into other major forays in tech. In 2310, Tayo Astrin... That's right, Tayo is part of Ryogen, isn't it? Joined the fold and continues to be a leader in spacecraft engineering. With a growing business, Dakaris and Saito worked with Benjamin Bayou, boo hiss, to build the massive Ryogen Tower. Uh, showed how strong the relationship between Ryogen and the city of Neon is. Ryogen Industries adding to Neon's prestige as something more than just a pleasure city, and Neon being an attractive bonus to working at Ryogen. Ryogen also incorporates Arboron, Drone, and Tranquility into their family. Interesting. <laughs> they kind of got their fingers in all sorts of pies. These subsidiaries would further strengthen Ryogen as a formidable com competitor. Uh, industry leader, eyes always pointed toward the future. Very good, right? Neuroamps. We've got a Neuroamp on our face at the moment. I don't really know what it is. Millions of people benefit from our Neuroamps every day. Neuroamps are designed to improve overall brain function in order to boost your quality of life. They've been used in medical monitoring, neurological healing, and mental stabilizers to help with sleep, anxiety, and social skills. The first Neuroamp was created by Ray DeCaris. Um... Determined to harness the power of the mind to improve aspects of everyday life. Initially only approved for military use, NeuroAmps became a public commodity in 2315. Oh. So Dakaris... Interesting. Dakaris originally developed them to be military neurological enhancers. But thinking about it, Neon is part... Well, loosely part of the Freestar Collective, isn't it? So, okay, they... they I guess did good for our guys on the uh, on our side of the colony war. Hmm. In the news, see the latest news at Ryogen Industries, celebrating 20 years. Uh, Ryogen and Tayo celebrate their 20th anniversary this year. Oh, that makes sense, yeah. Back in 2310, Simon Tayo, son of Tayo Estrenearing's founder, signed a deal with Ryogen Industries to become the first official sub subsidiary. The two companies have since celebrated incredible innovations in spacecraft engineering. Tayo has remained a top competitor. In commemoration of the historic moment, Ryogen threw a massive gala at the Astral Lounge. Said to... Oh, that's a point. I need to go and visit... Uh, oh, what was her name now? I need to go and visit the DJ in Astral Lounge, don't I? One of the most pres prestigious events of the year. Several other CEOs were in attendance, including Synthetic Solutions, Bastion Porter. Not heard of that before, Synthetic Solutions. And Hope Tech's very own Ron Hope. Oh dear. Um, <laughs> Dakaris herself also made an appearance as one of Ryogen's founders. Okay. Now hiring. Here we go. Ryogen Industries has announced that we are once again hiring the best and brightest of the settled systems. As a corporation, we're always taking on new hires. However, public announcements of job opportunities are rarely seen, making this a first in the past two years. We hope that many aspiring engineers and opportunists will see this. <laughs> Here's an opportunist right here. We'll see this as their chance to join our ever-growing team. Our latest ad campaign for interested candidates can be heard in both New Atlantis and Neon. Our job application is available on any Ryogen information kiosk. Interesting that they didn't advertise in Aquila? Hmm. Our subsidiaries. Uh, right, let's just get a brief idea of what these do. Arboron... Uh, craftsmanship and style, innovative weapons manufacturers. That's right. We walked into the very bottom of Ryujin Tower a long while ago, and there was a there was a weapon store there. So that must be Arboron Drone, uh, the Hive Essentials. Drone seeks to organize and improve upon your daily life in a line of household robots. Oh, okay. We understand the importance of time, which is why our robots specialize in undertaking these maintained. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, the the little scurrying bots that we see 
whizzing around. And if I ever do get around to uh, to actually building an outpost, I'm going to fill the place with those because they, they're awfully cute. Time Astroneering, Shipbuilders, stands to reason, and Tranquility. They sell tea. Pretty much stands to reason. Okay. Ah, let's take the plunge. Let's, let's just branch out into a different... Uh, <laughs> a, a different walk of life here. Job application. Welcome to Ryan Industries job application. All questions must be answered in order for your application to be submitted. Work experience. How many years of experience do you have working in a secretarial position or corporate environment? Um, none? I mean, we've taken part in a little bit of corporate espionage here and there, but yeah, none? How familiar are you with Ryan Industries and its product lines? Um, I mean... We had a quick look through your blurb, so I've got a basic knowledge. What's your proficiency with computers in regards to typing and file management? I mean, Asher was a farmer for 10 years and hasn't really used, apart from cracking into them, hasn't used them all that much recently. So, low? What level of education have you completed? Uh, <laughs> Asher did go do a little bit of high school, but then the whole, like, colony war thing kicked off and parents killed home destroyed uh, do you have a history of criminal activity me no your application is now complete <laughs> i don't think this is going to go well to officially officially submit your application please select submit application below okay thanks for submitting your application please report to imogene salzo on the operations floor at ryogen tower in neon for your interview <laughs> we got an interview Right, or yours, my friend. Um, where's the tower? This way. Okay, uh, well, let's go and explore Ryujin Tower, then. I can't believe we actually got an interview off the back of that. I thought that'd be uh, kicked to the curb in an instant. So, before I head up to Ryujin Tower, I want to go and see if I can uh, gain an audience with the Astral Lounge's DJ. Rude. Right, we're upstairs in the lounge. I don't, I don't actually know how the hell to get to the DJ. Where are we? Ah, right, okay, there's the DJ booth there. There's a walkway that I spied before I came up, uh, just off to the left here. Oh, this is a staff only area. Am I gonna get in, am I gonna get in trouble if I walk through here? I just wanna have a quick whisper with the DJ. Ages and ages ago, we got a tip off that the DJ I can't remember exactly what the problem was, but she was having trouble with something. And I can't, I can't for the life of me remember what her name is. It's something, it's some play on words like Cassie Opia or something equally banal. Um, I don't know if that's even the right words, but there she is. Borealis, that's the one. Right, uh, hi, sorry to inter She's wearing one of the dancer's suits. I've got to be honest, she pulls it off an awful lot better than those lot down there. Hi. Hey there, what's up? Uh, I hear you've, you have an issue? Uh, okay, I hear you're awfully busy as well, apparently. Can I interrupt you for just a second? I might be doing you a favour here. Yeah, sorry, I don't do autographs. Uh, no, 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 um... I was going to... <laughs> Screw it, let's go in cocky, I was going to offer you mine. <laughs> now that would be something new for a change. Oh, she appreciated you that. You can't even imagine how many people ask for an autograph or picture after we've been modding all night. It gets really annoying. Uh, modding? Okay, never mind. What is modding? Programming the beats? Turning the dials? Come on, stay with me here. Is it obvious I'm not a fan? <laughs> okay, um, should be flattered to have so many fans. Uh... Yeah, I mean, on the one hand, I, I kind of get that, but I guess stardom can sort of <laughs> limit how much of a, a a life you can actually lead out of the limelight. So, yeah, the price of stardom, I guess. Oh, so it's my fault. <laughs> Great. I suppose next you're going to tell me it's okay for fans to start stealing stuff, too. Ah, right, now we're getting to what I'm here for. It's gone. Completely vanished. I had all of my new songs figured out on that thing, and someone ripped me off. Total drag. Uh, right, so, uh, how did you get going in all this anyway? How did you reach the lofty heights? I started playing music when I was 10. My father had an old electronic keyboard he passed down to me, and I fell in love with the thing. By the time I was 15, 
I cut my first track and started club hopping. I was pretty young, but with my father as manager, he watched my back. Four years later, and here I am, booked into the hottest club in the settled systems. <laughs> pretty crazy. Yeah, play to you. You've had uh, a pretty meteoric rise by the sounds of it. I'm a little stoned right now. So, <laughs> let's take it slow, okay? Uh, you're a little zoned. Okay, does does that help you with your music? Oh, yeah, absolutely. It allows me to step away from myself for a while and harmonize with the universe. There's music out there, you know, if you listen. Uh, it's yeah. Just not getting hooked on that feeling. <laughs> I got close to that state a few times, but reality and responsibility has always managed to pull me back. Oh, don't you worry. I'm... I'm well aware of how addictive it can be trying to hunt down the music um right yeah i could help you find that slate if you like oh man wow that would be so cool yeah please i thought i sensed a decent aura around you when you walked up hmm okay um any uh, let's see no aura i just want to get paid <laughs> uh right any leads you've got would be great but why is this slate so important you mentioned your music was on there the thing is, I perform here at the lounge every single night, which means I can't repeat the same set over and over. I have to keep it real. Hmm, okay, that makes sense. So what exactly is on there? Songs, lyrics, poems, all of my thoughts, basically. We're talking three years of stuff. It's not like I can just rewrite everything. Some of those moments of inspiration are long gone, out of my mind. That's why I write them down. Okay. You didn't take backups anywhere? All right. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not really in it for the credits, to be quite honest with you. I'm just kind of intrigued as to where this goes. Uh, yeah, it'll be worth the effort. Exactly. So, anything you can do to help is appreciated. Oh, and if you're looking for a lead, talk to Micah. She works the bar at Euphorica. Oh, I know Micah. She's a walking grapevine. Anyway. I got to figure out how I'm going to mod my next set. I'll see you around, okay? Yep, no problem at all. So you said that Mike has got a potential lead, but you don't have a clue? Hmm, well, most of the people who come through here are fans, and they're either zoned or just digging the rhythms. That leaves collectors, competitors, or just a thief trying to make a cred. It could be anyone, really. People try to put a price on everything doesn't matter if it's music or the stars. If that price is big enough, you start attracting people with bad vibes and long knives. Only mm. a matter of time before you get cut. Okay, I'll let you get back to your uh, modding. Hope you enjoy the show. Thanks. Um, I'm really not here for the beats. Right. Come on then, Barrett. Let's uh, let's get out of this staff-only area before we get accosted. We've, we've got into plenty of trouble here before. Um... Yeah, I'll get back downstairs. Now, I think we need to take a trip up to Ryujin Tower. I I have a funny feeling that our time at Ryujin is going to lead us all around Neon, so we'll have plenty of time to drop in at Euphorica. Of course, it wasn't until I actually got to the uh, the elevator over there, I realised I was at the foot of the wrong tower. Silly me. There's a reason why they call it Ryujin Tower, because it's Ryujin's own tower. Um, hello, friendly guard types. No time to chat. I'm on duty. Hmm, okay. Um, any insider tips for an interview? No? Okay, all right. Glare says it all. Right. Uh, so, I need to... I needed to report to a certain floor or something. Hello okay. again. Please make yourself at home in the lobby. Thanks for stopping by today. Uh, right. I, th I feel like I've been over these options before, but they're not showing as... Uh, as... See you later. As having been used up, but I'm pretty certain we've already been over those points. Right, let's actually... This, I've, I've travelled all over the Settle Systems now, and it's the, I've never actually spoken to anyone at Tranquility. Um, looks a bit sparse, to be quite honest with you. There's nothing better for erasing the stresses of a hard day's work than a cup of easy sleep tea. Welcome to Tranquility, your new favourite spot to refresh and escape from the hustle and bustle of Neon. I'm Delilah. Please let me know if you need any help or product recommendations. Is this your first time visiting Ryujin Tower? Uh, 
No, I actually passed through once before. And if I remember correctly, we made uh, yeah, we made quite the impact when we were here. <laughs> um, I seem to remember uh, Walter sh bounding across the rooftops, shooting guards. Anyway, um, why does... Yeah, this is something that I wondered since I read it on the terminal. Why does Ryujin have a tea company? Yep, that's right. Ryujin has its fingers in all sorts of pies. <laughs> that's I guess exactly that's what I said. the best way to turn a profit. They don't have much to do with our day-to-day, -day, though. As long as our customers are happy and we're making sales, that's all that matters. Hmm. Fair. I guess any sort of business is a good one to have if, as long as it's successful. Yeah, so I'm actually here for a job interview, weirdly enough. Oh, good luck. I hear they're kind of tough on newbies on the upper floors. I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. Feel free to stop by for a chat anytime. You seem like an interesting person, and small talk goes nicely with a good cup of tea. Hmm. Okay. Uh, right, let's see. So, are you actually from here originally? No, I'm not. I'm from a small farming settlement in a nearby system. Hmm. Funnily enough, the farms my community maintains supply some of Tranquility's tea leaves. I grew up watching the ships and traders come in from Neon, and wishing I could get on one and see the city for myself. It seemed like such a fascinating place. Okay, and is Neon everything it was cracked up to be? Um, not exactly. Everyone here is busy and stressed, and there's a lot of crime. The stories I grew up with made Neon seem like paradise, but it really isn't. I'm just happy to work for a company that puts smiles on people's faces. It seems like most people here could use one. Hmm, okay. You ever miss it at home, back on the farm? Sometimes, yeah. I didn't know anyone when I moved here, so I was really lonely. The town I'm from is tiny, so I knew almost everyone. It was a big change. Okay, and you're planning on staying long term? I don't know, honestly. I never really wanted to be a farmer, so there's not much waiting for me back home. But I can't see myself living in Neon permanently. Maybe I'll get lucky and Tranquility will open a new office somewhere else. I'd be the first to sign up for a transfer. Yeah, you seem far too nice and chipper for a place like Neon. Uh, yeah, certainly nowhere else like it. That's probably for the best. <laughs> I don't think the galaxy could handle more than one city like this one. Fair. Okay, um, I'm not too interested in delving into the uh, the depths of history of Tranquility, but, uh, yeah, um... Mm. Yeah, I'm not, not even that bothered about what they've got for sale, to be honest. I'm just intrigued that Ryujin took over a company like this. So long. Okay, thanks, Delilah. See you later. Uh, ah, right. Now, do you mind? Excuse me, coming through. Right. It was Arboron. We visited here before. They sell all of these uh, EM weapons. I'm not too bothered about uh, taking a look. There's the Neuroamp range. But we need to head up to uh, the main offices by the looks of it. Let's see if I can remember what the name of the floor was that we're supposed to be aiming for. Um, okay, Tranquility and Drone. They've got their own floor. Tayo has their own floor. Is Tayo... I'm going to just quickly dip my head into Tayo to see if this is where we uh, rained havoc before. Oh, no, it isn't. No, it isn't. Maybe I'm thinking maybe it was someone over in the main neon tower that we uh, we went up to. Look how clean this place is. Tayo family. I can't believe it. Finally. I've been dreaming of this. Just enjoy the moment. You've made the best so I can take it for a spin now? It'll be at the spaceport before you get there, fully topped up with helium three. So yay! <laughs> Tyler, yay! Not a bad beat. Okay. Can you believe these guys? What do you mean? People go crazy over this Tayo stuff. I don't see it. Look around. I mean, it's pretty amazing stuff. Nah, just give me an old reliable Hope Tech. Your grandkids could still be flying those. That explains a lot about you. <laughs> That's about to turn into uh, a bit of a scene. Uh, this place looks scarily, scarily clean and sparse and... I'm not sure. You want a flashy ship? You want a tie ship? Right, so these are like the, what, the Ferrari of, of spaceship manufacturing by the looks of it? Sales computer. Tayo needs you. 
Staryards always are looking for raw resources. Instead of fueling our competitors, why not sell directly to Tayo? If you're an independent shipper, please contact Vern Soberkin. Help us deliver the next generation of exciting spacecraft and be a part of the Tayo family. That's kind of similar. We spoke to somebody in that sort of role at a competitor before, didn't we? I forget exactly who, we, who it was now. Uh, really? Coffee station and their own tranquility? Staff only area. Uh, oh, okay. You look like you were having an interesting time, sir. Oh, Vern Soberkin, you're the very fellow. <laughs> Sorry to disturb you. Would you mind? That, that, that's better. Uh, unless I miss my mark, someone as interesting as you doesn't work here. Oh. Um, welcome to the office of the famed spacecraft engineer Dara Ulrich. Such as it is. A word of advice walk carefully. Dara is in fine form today. Oh, okay. Dara's someone not to be messed with, by the sounds of it. Why is Dara in a bad mood? It is tough for anyone to live up to her example. Even Dara herself. She pioneered some really dazzling advances in modern spacecraft engineering and design. Things like seamless heat shielding with high-tech composites, to, to distributing power asynchronously to improve reactor yields. She's an unsung legend in the field. Really. Hmm. Okay, I'll take your word for it. Can't say I've ever heard of her. Um, yeah, thanks for the warning. It is a delicate time. Always with the deadlines. We are also supposed to be designing daring new customer-facing features. Things to get people revved up about our product lines. So, I see no harm in going for the easy wins. Instead, we focus on always being on the cutting edge. And too often, we come up with nothing. Hmm, okay. Uh, so you don't approve of the approach? Dara would have us tilt at windmills forever. True, we actually succeed sometimes. And the feeling of that? Nothing like it. But there is no shame in going for the low-hanging fruit, as my professors called it. Hmm, okay. Um, I think people like... I think people like Tayo because it's always seeing past the horizon. Uh, I've got to be honest, I don't really have an opinion either way. I don't really know much about them. But uh, yeah, um, have yourself an excellent day, I guess. Actual human politeness? What a novelty in this office. <laughs> uh, he, he seems like he feels pressured into bigging Dara up, but actually like secretly fears or despises her. <laughs> um, okay, let's just leave things there. Back to dealing with Dara. Yeah, definitely not a fan. Good job saying that in front of a customer as well. I'm sure that'll go down well. Right. We have a demo room, by the looks of it, uh, where that lady was made up at her new uh, acquisition. Hello. Who are you with the interesting hair? No ship's better in the settled systems. People spend their whole lives dreaming of flying a sleek, sexy spaceship. And I get to make that happen. Tayo brings out the very best in people. My goodness, you are you have you're oozing confidence and uh, uh, and presence, aren't you? So what makes Tayo so special? Space should be more than just getting from place to place. It should be full of color, excitement, and full of features you never even knew you needed. Tayo ships are like traveling in living art. They really fed the sales patter to you hard, didn't they? Wow. Um, whatever you say, lady. Uh, they have real style. Yeah, you, you, you quite clearly are the Tayo salesperson. Yes, that's me. Are you ready to make your dreams come true? Okay. Uh, so, <laughs> what, what kicked off Tayo? They were going before they were taken over by Ryujin, I understand. The founders of Tayo were visionaries that looked at the star yards around and saw a tremendous opportunity. Neon has a life, a beat of its own, and that excitement that life was missing. So they worked on making ships that really sung, had a joy to them, something special. Now Tayo is the jewel of Neon. Wow. <laughs> She either really thinks highly of Tayo, or she's getting paid really well to make it seem like she thinks highly of Tayo. Uh, okay, let's see what you got. Excellent. If you decide to buy, we'll have your new ship all polished up and waiting for you at the spaceport. Yay! <laughs> we have the finest ships money can buy. 
<laughs> Yay! Uh, oh, it's Tayo that make the... I really think it's quite horrible, that cockpit. <laughs> the really bulbous one at the front. We've got Hammerhead 2. Okay. Uh, I noticed that these are both Class B. I don't... I'm not really a fan of the big sort of curved bulbous bubble sort of look that these have to them. Um, yeah. Oh, hello. That's got a certain appeal to it. I quite like the colour scheme on that. That's kind of cool. Probably because it's reasonably similar to the Evelyn, I guess. Um, hmm, okay. Narwhal. Right, and that's it for our selection. Uh, mm, yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> Thanks. Let's have a little look around their, uh, their demonstration station here. This is quite a cool little ops room, though. Gotta say. Yeah, I like the way it's... Hello, Barrett. <laughs> you come for a poker rain as well? Most. Me. I mean, I, I, I can't answer that for you. I don't know who you are. We've only just met. Hello. By now, or by next year. Um, again. Ooh, cockpit model. What have we got here? Yeah, I see. I wonder what Miss Ulrich will come up with next. Again. Yeah. Don't really like it. It's, it's, just, it seems there's a lot of wasted space. I mean, these big open cockpits are brilliant for blasting. Um, spaces <laughs> and uh, tossing in a grenade and shutting the door behind them but yeah other than that they're not really my sort of thing okay let's get out of here let's actually report to the floor that I'm supposed to be on uh, which is ooh it's called in a tranquility <laughs> just really quickly I feel so much safer with one of those drone security robots oh yeah and the kids are going to love it that salesperson was really nervous. I hope he got all our details right. We'll find out soon enough. And I'm sure you made his day with the sale. Now let's stop by Tranquility on the way out. You read my mind. Okay, that's interesting. So it seems like... Uh, ooh, where does this go? Am I, <laughs> am I supposed to be here? There wasn't a staff-only sign on the door, in my defense. Hello, hi. I might be slightly lost. Keep out of my way, and I'll keep out of yours. Charming. Oh. Uh. Oh. Yeah, I'm not... I'm not where I'm supposed to be. I, th <laughs> I think we should probably leave, Barrett. Where does this go? Wait, where does this go? Is this coming out on the roof? All right, restroom. Hello. Hi. What's this? This looks like some sort of lobby for an office area or something. Where the hell? Oh. Don't cause any trouble. Oh, is this? Hold on, is this the Ryujin floor? Oh, we've <laughs> we've managed to find our way up to Ryujin. Okay. Uh, well, let's shut that over. Not where I'm supposed to be. What is it? Yeah, I think this is Ryujin. I found something, but it's sensitive. Do you have time to talk? Ooh. It's about that <clears throat> special project we're working on for Miss Salzo. What are you doing? Don't mention that out here. Follow me. Let's talk somewhere more private. I hate being stuck in the office. Oh, I'm super intrigued. Uh, who's this Miss Salzo? I'm a little busy right now. Uh, right. She said, "Follow me." No, she's not moving. A gala at the new Atlantis Freestar Embassy. That would be a good way to gather intel. Wait, there's a gala going down at the embassy? Can I go? Right, I kind of want to find my way back to the... Wait, is it, is this the, the actual... Wait, where... I'm so confused. Ah, is this the way in? I can feel the life and happiness draining from my body already. I hope you Ooh, I'll be back in just a moment. I was looking around another floor. I'm kind of intrigued. I just want to quickly go to uh, to the drone level. I'm intrigued about the security robot thing because I didn't realize that uh, that drone makes security bots. Hello. Hi. I hope you're having a nice day. Oh, thank you. Very kind. See, this is the sort of thing that I'm more used to, the cleaner Ooh, bot. Maybe and I can stop at the gift shop for Vasco. <laughs> oh, wait. Hold on. Do drone make... 
the drone make the Model A's? They do have a Model A head over there. I'd apply the drone in a heartbeat. Oh, that's a security bot. I thought it was just sort of like carrying a crate or something. Okay, that makes more sense. There are a lot of cool models on display inside. Okay, I'll take your word for it. Do we have, do we have like a sales room? My kids would get a kick out of all these robots. Drone demo. Initiating hallway display demo sequence. <laughs> uh, okay. Does it just run around? Oh, I think it does. I thought it was going to go and zap something. Is this a security bot? Check out our latest models. I gotta be honest, the demo was sort of underwhelming. Seen a drone robot perform less perfectly. Uh, oh, these are drone offices. Oh, okay, again, I probably shouldn't be here. I'll, uh, I'm sure we'll get a chance to look around these places later. I was kind of hoping to. Is there no way to actually buy them? Hello there. Uh, thanks for visiting the drone offices at Ryujin Tower. Can I help you find something? Oh, <clears throat> by the way, I'm uh, Bobby. Ugh. <laughs> Robert, sorry, I should have introduced myself when you walked up. I, I'm still adjusting to this whole office manager thing. You seem a little bit nervous, Bobbert, or whatever your name is. Uh, yeah, new position. Uh, yeah. <laughs> First week. Yeah, it doesn't show. Um, you should be more personable with your customers. Ah, uh, good to meet you. Yeah, likewise. Thanks for stopping by today. Anyway... Take a look around the office if you want. It's open to the public. Oh, okay. Everybody's pretty busy, so I'd appreciate it if you didn't disturb them too much. Oh, uh, and uh, uh, thank you for visiting Ryujin Tower. Enjoy your day. You too. So, um, what does, does drone stand for? Some oh, uh, your your cleaner bot seems to have fallen out. And oh dear, your your robots are malfunctioning. Does drone stand for something? I uh, hate to say it, but. Your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> uh, the, the rumor is the caps are just a marketing tactic. Catch attention, get people talking. <laughs> guess it works. True. Um, what does drone make? I understand the cleaner bots and the utility bots, but security? Robots. Mainly industrial models for helping out on ships and at spaceports. Maybe you've seen our most popular line, the mini bots? Mm -hmm. We have models on display throughout the office. Feel free to have a look. Yeah, some of them are trying, currently trying to demolish your partition wall. You're still adjusting to this role, aren't you? Yeah, I'll say. This wasn't even the job they hired me for. I was supposed to be working at Tranquility across the hall. Oh. I was an administrative assistant. Uh, it's just my luck that after I'd been in training for a measly two weeks, the office admin for drone had to go and retire. It was totally unexpected. Apparently, he went up to the executive floor one day and never came back to his desk. Oh. We were told he quit and just walked out. Interesting. Something to uncover here. Um, you don't think something happened to him, do you? Uh, yeah, I do. I think he retired out of the blue after 10 years and left me to clean up his mess. That jerk didn't even write down his computer's password. IT was down here for hours the other day trying to get me access. Mm. You'd think something like that should only take a few minutes. Okay, uh, you're not entirely happy with the transfer away from Tranquility, it seems. No, not really. I mean, have you been to the Tranquility office? The whole place smells like a warm cup of tea, and the staff is beyond friendly. Everybody at Drone is so serious, you barely even get a good morning out of most of the employees here. Hmm. Wonder if <laughs> I wonder if everybody's got a similar story to Delilah, the, all the Tranquility... Uh, staff are sort of shipped in from remote places where they don't know the, the hardships and the, the, the grind of neon. They've still got some still got some spirit left in them. Okay, a pretty big leap to throw you into this position. Oh yeah. I used to be an office manager for my old job, but that position wasn't customer facing. I applied for the admin assistant because the pay was almost just as good and be a hell of a lot less stress. Guess that plan backfired. Hmm. Ah, uh, you'll get the hang of it. Oh, really? Thanks for the vote of confidence. I needed it. Have a nice day. Yep. See you later, Robert. Uh, I think your uh, I think your 
robot over there wants to apply for a desk job. Okay, enough of this. Uh, so this must be Tranquility by the looks of it. Yeah, it's got, got all the... Uh, out of order, you say. Where does, ooh, where does that go? Some sort of warehouse. Okay, let's get up the stairs. Let's actually see uh, what's going on where we're supposed to be. Get this, uh, this interview out of the way. Right, sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to be rude. Uh, you were saying? You must be one of the candidates that Imogene Salzo is interviewing today. That's right. Her office is down the hallway to my left. Take another left at the conference room, follow it around to the right and up a small flight of stairs. Then take a left and keep heading that way until you see her office. <laughs> Sounds like a maze, right? So if you want me to walk you back there or have any questions, just let me know. Ah, uh, that can't be too difficult, surely. Um, I, I mean, I've got some questions first before I set off. And hopefully I have some answers. Okay, so what exactly is Ryujin doing at the moment? What are you working on? Oh, wow. You're serious? Well, Ryujin is the tech industry leader in the settled systems, mostly known for neuroamps, which exploded on the scene about 15 years ago. I hope not literally. Other than that, our products include operating systems, security, various quality of life improvements for the home. We're like a full package. If you really want more info, I'd recommend reading up at one of the kiosks. They've got this company's entire history listed. At least the history they want you to know. Uh, okay, that's slightly ominous. So, um, this Imogene that's doing the interviews, what can you tell me? Imogene Salzo is my idol. She's ruthless, but still knows how to behave around everyday people, if you know what I mean. She's probably next in line to take over for Ularu Chen. Head of operations here, which hmm. would be a godsend considering Chen has no filter and loves to speak her mind. No one loves brutal honesty that much. Hmm. Okay, fair enough. And how are these interviews going so far? Between you and me, I think Imogene is about done with the whole process. You won't believe the people we've been getting. I heard the hiring algorithm Yuko made approved all applicants. And of course Yuko <laughs> bailed when interview time hit. It's technically her job. And Imogene is furious. That explains how we actually managed to get an interview then. Right, I think I'm ready. Good. Best not keep Imogene waiting too long. And the offer still stands if you need someone to show you the way. Hmm. So on second thoughts, I am going to get lost in this rabbit warren. Go on then, show the way. Of course. Follow me. This is... Look at the size of this entry hall. This is just for effect, this first hall. There's nothing here other than trees either this side. This current floor we're on is the main operations level. It's where the grunt work happens for this department. How many levels Research, are there? Data entry, more busy work than you can stand. Most of the people here are technicians that report to Yuko. But there's a handful of operatives that report to Imogene. Okay. This is where we were stumbling through just now. It's back there. Oh, that was the small flight of stairs. Oh, that actually was an awfully, an awful lot easier than I anticipated. There's always work to be done. And Base yourself. Here we are. Make it a fast one. Good luck in there. I'll probably see you on your way out. Thanks, Lane. Uh, I'll catch you later. Um, you seem like you've probably got a lot to say later on. Uh, I hope you're more hello. Than the last one. Not at all. Have a seat. And your friend can wait outside. Yeah, I was going to say this. Understand. It's probably best, Barrett. Oh. Okay, wait. <laughs> your back. Roll your shoulders. Chin up. Okay, that's better. Now, go on, knock them dead, but not literally. <laughs> Thanks, Barrett. He's going to find somewhere to uh, cause trouble. Hi, hello, Asher. Um, completely uninitiated. Not really got a clue what I'm doing here, but thought it was good for a laugh. All right, just to get a few things straight here. I'm Imogen Salzo, Senior Operations Specialist here at Ryujin Industries. 
I don't normally do this, but my counterpart, Yuko, is indisposed at the moment. So, here I am. We're looking for someone to fill an entry-level administrative position. Apparently, our algorithm has failed us and believes you to be a decent match. <laughs> which I'll take up with our technicians later. I wouldn't blame you. So, let's get this over with. Why do you want to work for Ryujin Industries? Um, because I'm essentially just trying to put off the inevitable um, conclusion to the, the story arc and uh, leave everything that I've ever known behind for uh, a carbon copy of this universe that exists through a gateway that apparently uh, I'm having to fight some ethereal, otherworldly, other universe beings uh, to g get the keys for. Um, and uh, yeah, basically just need something, anything really, to just take my mind off of that completely crippling and mind-bending fact. Um, what, is that not an option? Oh, that's sad. <laughs> okay, <laughs> right, why not? Why not? Ryogen's the best company in the settled systems. Uh, Kiss Arsery is always the uh, the best policy. Just looking to make a few credits. Neuramps are revolutionary. Uh, I heard you that you hired mm. the best and brightest. Must be nervous. Let's go for this one. Let's, let's try and put ourselves in a good light. I'll be sure to let our marketing team know their phrases are catching on. Hmm. But I hope that's your sense of humor showing. Not to say we don't have our share of self-important attitudes here. In fact, you'd fit right in where some are concerned. But, moving on, this next one should be interesting, considering you marked having zero experience. <laughs> Why do you consider yourself qualified for a job like this? Uh, I can make any deal happen. Oh no, do we want to go down the persuasion route? I know I can do this job, and I hope to prove it. Entry level, anyone can do this job. <laughs> that, that's kind of what I'm thinking. I wouldn't say qualified as much as I'd say I need this job. I don't really need it. Uh, I'm not. I'm just winging it here. Um, <laughs> anybody could do this job, surely, if it's base level. And judging from your application, I take it that's why you applied. Not that I'm going to argue since I feel the same. So, next question. How motivated are you to succeed? Uh, I'll go above and beyond. Depends what I'm working towards. Just hoping not to get fired. Yeah, it, it entirely depends on the goal, I guess. Here at Ryujin, that's completely up to you. It's not unheard of for someone like you to reach an executive level position. Plus, we're pretty good at finding any untapped potential, so if there's a role we know you'll excel at, we'll find it. And finally, my last question. If you worked here for five years, what role would you see yourself in? Oh dear lord, five years? Five years I'll be running the company. Role in management, R&D, for the complexities of cybersecurity. Uh, <laughs> yeah, honestly, I doubt I'll make it five months. Huh. With that attitude, I think you meant five weeks. Minutes. So look, since there's a million other things I'd rather be doing than this, not to mention that this isn't even my job, you're hired. <laughs> what? On a probationary period? Of course. First order. There's a meeting starting soon, and I need you to pick up the coffee order at Terra Brew. <laughs> Fairly easy, so you shouldn't be able to screw it up. If there's a line, skip it. Tell them you're here for Imogen Salzo, and you should get served right away. Amazing. I've gone from... <laughs> I've gone from being the sole person alive at the moment to learn about something that can alter the course of not only the destiny of everybody in this universe, but multiple others, to being a Ryujin coffee boy. Okay. Um, Barrett, are you staring this man down for a reason? Talk to me, my dear friend. <laughs> You're a curious sort, i got to say. Can Hi. I help you? Uh, you were waffling on about something before I went in. You're interrupting me. Is <laughs> this time accounted for? Uh, what do you mean accounted for? We're on a strict schedule. I just want to make sure this impromptu meeting is properly tracked. Impromptu meeting? I don't particularly care if it's tracked or not. I will take that as a no. It's not accounted for. If time is money, then suffice to say Ms. Serrano would not be pleased with such a frivolous expenditure. Well, I mean, you're keeping me talking by coming out with these convoluted sentences. Uh, just a hallway conversation. Uh, who... Who is... Did I... Uh, Miss Serrano. Was I just... Who, who was... Who? Ms. Yuko Serrano. Oh. Senior Operations Specialist at Ryujin Industries. She's one of the heads of the department you're standing in. Oh, okay. 
Um, well, what she doesn't know won't hurt her, eh? She might disagree, but fine. Let's leave her out of it. And since you clearly have bandwidth to spare, maybe you can help me clean up a um, minor indiscretion. Oh no, what am I being roped into now? <laughs> I've already got a mightily important uh, task for uh, for the lady in the room behind me. I need to go and fetch caffeinated beverages. Um, so, I, I take it you're, you're kind of pressured here? We're each assigned shifts to assist operatives, ensuring coverage at all hours. Personally, I like to keep my circadian rhythms intact. Early to rise, early to bed. As nature intended. Right. Uh, is this something we need to discuss with management? Contractually, yes, but I'd rather avoid the embarrassment. Normally, I do a good job of setting boundaries between work and life. This incident is... an exception. Right. What sort of incident are we talking about? Uh, what, what assignments are you currently working on? Let's see if I can get a feel for what could have gone wrong. I'm not at liberty to say. I will remind you of another common phrase. Loose lips sink ships. So, be cautious around the office, and discuss intel at your peril. Okay, that actually sounds like a genuinely useful insider tip. Uh, right, tell me about this minor indiscretion. Good. Let me give you some background. Recently, I've been assisting the impoverished in both Ebside and the Underbelly. Oh. I pay for the occasional meal, clinic visit, or comfort. But I may have lost a slate in the process. I need you to locate and retrieve it for me. Interesting. So Ryujin actually does handouts for the poor. Okay, I didn't see that one coming. Um, what's on this slate? Pre-assignment intel for one of our operatives. The contents themselves aren't too sensitive, so if you're thinking of betraying me, they aren't worth much as leverage. Dude, we literally My just met. Sloppiness is simply an embarrassment that I'd like to correct. Hmm, okay. Why are you trusting me with this? It's not a matter of trust, but one of time. I have little to spare. You do not. Okay. I'll keep my eyes open and take a look. I need to visit the, uh, um, what's it called now? Ah, oh, the, the, the outer gantry. The bit that surrounds Neon. I need to visit there anyway. Then we have an agreement. Good. Go to the underbelly and talk to the panhandler, Huang. Discarded items are her specialty, so she may have come across the slate herself. I've spoken to if Huang. If you can manage to find it, bring it back to me, and I will pay you for the time. Yeah, I remember Huang. She's cool. Yeah, why are you spending your time volunteering? Not that I want to sort of cast aspersions on your good character, you understand. Hmm. Perhaps I can best explain with an analogy. There is an aquatic species on Voli Epsilon, which... My cruel irony, or test of metal, hatches on dry land. Only one in 10,000 make it to adulthood. Whoa. Most are eaten. Some simply die in the crawl to the ocean. Meanwhile, there is a similar species that is born in the water itself. They never make this journey and thus never know its hardship. I see where Which this is going. Which begs the question, is that fair? Uh, I stopped listening three sentences ago. Um, yeah, generally life isn't fair, but you can't you can't really do much about the the hand that you're dealt from birth. In the natural world, I'd agree, but here we can make a change. I know what you're thinking, and I am not what you'd call a bleeding heart. Moreover, I find the underbelly filthy and unsanitary, but. I also believe in equity. I am well aware that my life came with a head start. Oh. So I try my best to balance the equation and bring the hatchlings to the water. Wow, okay, I may have judged you a bit too harshly, Rafik. I'm actually, unless there's an ulterior motive, I'm, I'm kind of surprised you seem quite charitable. I thought he was about to say that he actually worked his way up in Ryujin after sort of growing up in the underbelly or something like that, but no, clearly not. Um, what you call unsanitary, I'd call character. Uh, no, that that's fair enough. I'm quite surprised. I don't wish to speak ill of them, of course. It's not their fault. Just a fact. But as much as I dislike the underbelly, I will say this. It is a welcome change of pace. 
When you spend all day keeping secrets, a burden is placed on one's conscience. Mm. The time I spend volunteering sheds some of that weight. Beneficial to both sides. He's helping people that have had a tough upbringing, and it kind of helps him to cleanse his uh, cleanse his mind and cleanse his soul of of what? What does he get up to here? As you were. Okay. Uh, interesting. Kind of makes me wonder what it is that they uh, they do actually work on here. Uh, ooh, what's this? Hello, who are you? I hope I can wrap up this next assignment quick. The Razor Ball tournament starts tonight. Razor Ball? Um, that sounds unpleasant. My next assignment can't start soon enough. Right, now, um... Don't wander into any restricted what area. What's your name again? Rafik. Rafik was saying that he's a support agent for um, agents out on the field. Oh, I thought this might have been a mission board. Oh, only senior operatives can access the mission board. That makes me sad. I wonder if we become a senior operative at some point if we uh, keep our nose clean. Speaking of which... <laughs> no, better not. Uh... Oh. Yeah, I don't think this is, uh... This is where I intended to be. Okay, let's... S who are you? Uh, Camden Show. Right, I'm sure we're going to be stumbling across all of these characters before too long. Let's, uh... Let's work out where we actually acquire this coffee. Pick up coffee at Terra Brew. Okay, so Terra Brew... Make it quick. I have a deadline. Terra Brew does... Uh, hold on, there's a Terra Brew vending machine over there. Can I just get it from there? Uh, oh, Terra Brew does coffee, don't they? Why are they not Why are they not getting drinks from Tranquility? Surely they get a staff discount. Aha! Uh -huh. Terra Brew coffee. Here we go. So this is this is almost back to the uh, the Trade Tower. Uh, right, so apparently I can just skip the queue. Um, feels a bit rude. Sorry, I, 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 yeah, I, yeah, I do apologise. Um, sorry, could I just... Uh, thanks. What have we got? Um, so that's where we can order stuff. What, what am I actually... Excuse me. What am I picking up here? Hello, and welcome to Terra Brew. How may I serve you? I'm amazed that you didn't actually challenge me, seeing as I've just pushed past all of your other customers. Um, picking up something for Imogene Salzo. Oh, the reagent order. You must be new. What happened to Tomo? Did he finally get that? I got fired is what happened. Uh oh. And this is the soulless suit they got to replace me. Uh... Tomo, I'm sorry. I know how hard you were working for that promotion. Four years behind a desk, getting coffee, kissing up to that high and mighty Ularu Chen just to get replaced by this nobody? Calm yourself, dude. You don't know who you're dealing with. I'm the coffee runner. <laughs> Who's Ularu Chen? You don't even know your own boss's boss. Ularu is Ryujin's head of operations, or resident shark, if you ask me. If she smells blood in the water, you're dead. Okay, uh, calm down a moment, explain what happened. Like, who knows? I, I looked at someone wrong, the coffee wasn't hot. They didn't even have the decency to tell me. They just had security escort me out of the building. Like, like some criminal. Oh, shit. Um, yeah, I mean, whilst all I did was respond to an ad, um, I am, I do feel kind of sorry for you and slightly worried about what I'm getting myself into. Yeah, I bet you are. No one's ever sorry in this business. And now that I've been terminated, it's only a matter of time before they send you after me. So I'm Wait. taking matters into my own hands. Send me after you? Believe me. Uh, it's either you or me. Dude. Hey, buddy. We came here for some crappy coffee. That's all. Okay. Uh, what do you mean, either you or me? What, what's gunning me down in a coffee shop going to do for you? You don't just get to learn all the ins and outs of Ryujin operations and then just walk away. Even worse, I got fired. <laughs> They don't let that kind of knowledge run around in the head of disgruntled employees. It's just a matter of time before they send you after me. So I'm taking matters into my own hands. Uh, hold on. Put, put the gun, gun down. You want to talk? <laughs> I'll tell you what. You get one chance to prove you deserve this job. 
change my mind, and I'll walk away. Fail? <laughs> and I think you know where this is headed. Okay. Uh, thankfully, quite a low persuasion score. Let's... <laughs> <laughs> Let's just chance it for a one shot. Put the gun down. What? It can't be helped. I have no choice here. Look. <laughs> at some point, Ular really will send you after me. Hey, just, just promise me you'll remember this. That, that uh, when I came after you, I gave you the chance to talk me down. Very charitable of you. Uh, why would I be the one they're sending anyway? Oh, is it the the lackey gets to do the dirty work? <laughs> Let's just say. Ryujin doesn't like loose ends. Chen fired me, and now she's going to see me as a liability. And that's why it's just a matter of time before our paths cross again. Okay, and when they do, I'm just hoping you'll listen to me like I listen to you. Hmm. Um, yeah, I, I have no reason to gun you down, dude. I feel pretty sorry for you. You're either one of the few good people in Neon, or... You already know a thing or two about leverage. Just don't make me regret this. Jesus. Well, that was a standoff and a half. Oh, no, the queue's gone. Hi. Hey, no worries on anyone calling security here. Take it from me, Ryujin will handle any drama that may come from this. You'll want to be sure to report it to them. Okay. Uh, so what can you tell me about the guy who just put a gun in my face? Tomo had been Ryujin's errand boy for some time now. Lots of ambition. Dying to get up that food chain, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. He always seemed really nice, so a stunt like that? <laughs> I never saw it coming. They really must have piled the pressure on. Uh, so how would Ryujin handle him? Ryujin has connections everywhere. Even Benjamin Bayou. You know, the very man that runs Neon. They're practically untouchable around here. Just getting in with them, you're setting yourself up for life. Well, provided you don't get fired first, of course. And then hunted down by a hit squad. Got it. Okay, uh, I still need that coffee order. Yes, of course. Here it is. Oh, and please let Mr. Cho know that we did have the recommended maintenance done. I triple checked the grind myself, and a mistake like that will never happen again. Okay. Interesting. Mr. Cho, I think we just saw Mr. Cho sat in his office. Huh, I'm kind of more intrigued than ever now to get to the bottom of this Ryujin Industries because they seem like they're possibly a particularly shady bunch. I want to see if I can get inside and uh, maybe shake up the ranks a little bit. But for now, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, always a pleasure to have you on board. If you'd like to leave a like or you care to leave a comment, pop those in the usual spots down below. Always appreciate hearing what you're thinking about things. And hop on over to the Discord as well. The link's down in the description. It'd be great to see you there. Until next time, take care of yourselves. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.